and welcome back to another frugal friday video if you guys are new to my channel then welcome my name is jillian and today i have an affordable christmas dollar tree diy so i have you guys vote on what video you guys would like to see this week for my frugal friday video you guys voted in my community tab and the two videos i had you guys vote on was a walmart in-store try-on or an affordable diy and the votes were very very close but at the end this is what won so this is what i'm going to be uploading this week don't worry if you guys are one of the ones who voted for the Walmart in-store try-on. I do plan on filming that early next week and then I will have it up for next week's Frugal Friday. So don't worry, I'm still going to be uploading that. That will just be up next week. So today, like I said, is going to be an affordable Dollar Tree Christmas DIY and they are actually sitting right behind me. I just finished filming and making these and they are going to be Christmas Dollar Tree no sew pillows and I love them. I actually made a few of these pillows last year. I will actually try to link all of my previous um, Christmas DIYs down below. I'll go and try to find them. And I'm not sure how many I've made or how many I've filmed, but I will definitely try my best to look and find all of them and then link them down below. But I just finished making all of these. I made four different styles just in case you guys need different ideas. I just wanted to give you guys a few different ideas on different pillows that you can make. Now Dollar Tree has so many different placemats. There was probably three other style placemats that I did see at Dollar Tree that I did not pick up. These are just the ones that I decided to go for because I really liked them and then I just made it my own. So enough of my rambling, enough of my talking. Let's go ahead and jump right into today's Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. All right, you guys, so I'll be starting off with this Noel pillow, and I'll be making this pillow different from the other ones. So as you guys can see, I do not have the Noel sign up or the Noel side up. I have the picture facing the opposite side on both sides because I will be turning this pillow inside out. So if this makes sense, basically, just flip your placement over to where it is on the opposite side. And I'm just going to add a, a little bit of hot glue to each corner of the pillow all the way across. And then as you guys can see right here i am turning it inside out remember to leave a corner open so that you can stuff your pillow with the stuffing you guys can add as much or as little as you guys would like just depends on how fluffy you would like your pillow as you guys can see i did folded the corner just to make all the edges match with the other sides again adding a little bit of glue and then sealing it down now moving on to my second pillow. This one I will not be making the same way I made the first one. So I'm just using the placemats and I'm going to be gluing the corners. This one is not going to be inside out. So I just basically placed the side that I want it to be out for the pillow where I want it to show if that makes sense. I'm not turning it over. Hopefully I'm not confusing you guys. Hopefully you guys can just see what I'm doing. But again, the process is the same. I'm just adding some glue to the placemats and then sealing it and then I will be leaving leaving a corner open so that I can be able to stuff the pillow. And I also suggest that you use a little bit of glue at a time. At one point, I was just adding a bunch of glue and trying to seal it down, but the glue does dry pretty quickly. So just add a little bit at a time. Now I'm going to add my little reindeer ornament. I first placed it where I would like it. I put it on the pillow, saw where I would like to place it. Then I added a little bit of glue on the top and on the bottom. And then if it needed more glue, I just went ahead and added more. Moving on to the third pillow, same exact process. I'm just going to be adding a little bit of glue at a time. And for this one, I decided to do the little Christmas tree and I put it on both sides. You guys can choose to just put it on one side, put it on both sides. You guys can add bells to yours, a bow on top. You guys can do anything you want. You don't have to leave it plain like mine. I just decided to leave mine plain. I originally was going to put a bow on top, but decided just to leave it as is. And like I said, I did put the Christmas tree on both sides. And then the last pillow I'll be making is this snowman one. Snowman one, I did not add anything extra to it because I don't think it really needed it. So again, just adding a little bit of glue at a time and sealing all the sides of the placemats together, leaving one corner open so that I can stuff my pillow.
All right, you guys, so this is how my Dollar Tree Christmas pillows turned out. I have them on my sofa so you guys can see them. So starting over here, this is the snowman one, and I believe I made this one last year as well. I'm gonna try to link them down below. I'll try to find all my Christmas DIYs and link them. But this is the snowman one, and then this is the Noel one. And this one I made a little different from this one because I want to show you guys two different styles that you can make it. So as you guys can see, the top lining, this is how the top lining looks on this one. And then on this one, it looks different. It's like folded in. So it just depends on what you guys like, what's your preference. If you guys like this style or if you like this style, honestly, it doesn't matter to me. So I just made both of them just so you guys can... Um, see how they look two different ways so this is a snowman one this is the noel one and then this is like the buffalo check one with the reindeer ornament and this one came out really cute so i just glued on this little christmas ornament and there was another reindeer that was in white so if you guys don't want it in gold there is a white version and then this is the one with the christmas tree and i glued the christmas tree on both sides so yeah that one is really cute as well i was going to use the ribbon to do a little bow on top but i ended up not i ended up just leaving it like that but yeah that's how they turned out i think out of all of them my favorite one is probably the reindeer one i just think that one is really cute so yeah that's how they all turned out i hope you guys enjoyed it maybe you guys got some ideas for yourself for the holidays if you guys make these let me know and tag me on instagram or here on youtube just let me know in the comments if you guys decide to make these all right guys so that is going to end my affordable christmas dollar tree no sew pillow diys i hope you guys enjoyed my first christmas diy i do have a few more planned so if you guys enjoy this one, let me know in the comments and then I will film a few more Christmas DIYs. I think I have maybe at least two other ideas that I would like to do. So I'm thinking about filming that and then uploading it for another Frugal Friday. I'm not sure when I will get it up, but I will try my very best to get it up soon because I know you guys like the Christmas videos pretty early and we are officially in November. So I'm gonna try to start rolling out a lot of my um, Christmas style videos. So like. Christmas clean with me, Christmas decorate with me, Christmas DIYs, shopping, everything. So I promise I will try my best to start rolling those out for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you guys decide to make any of these pillows, if you guys have Instagram, tag me on Instagram. I always leave my Instagram handle um, in the beginning of my videos or down below in my description box. Or if you make it here on YouTube, let me know in the comments so I can go check it out. I love seeing when you guys recreate things that I do. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have not already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.